Oh man. All right, second period, you ready? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Put those hands together. Welcome, my boy.
okay, this is a teachable moment. Laura, I would love it if you would have embedded that in your slideshow to kind of avoid this awkwardness. Yeah. Now, I'm not mad at you because I like you too much to be mad at you, but <laughs> it definitely would be smoother. Okay, you make a note of this? So the reason why this matters to me is, you know, uh, that was me back in um, 2013. I was super skinny, about 160, 160 um, pounds. Now, for 160 pounds, for somebody that's about six, six foot ten, that is not good. <laughs> so, um, you know, a lot, a lot of kids, you know, suffer from malnutrition. You know. And what do you yeah. weigh now, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, right. Right now I weigh about 220, okay. 225. Yeah, I was okay. checking a while. Are you still 6'10"? No, 7'1". Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Okay, so I'm going to ask you one more question. Um, what's your favorite part of the trip? Um, you know, I'm from South Sudan, the small country in Africa. It, um, it's a city from Sudan to get a new republic. Sudan, um, they were at war for um, about 20 years. Sudan, which is the northern part. Uh, so we succeeded. 2013, civil war broke out. And 2014 to 2015, families flee uh, violence. 2016, South Sudan seeks refuge abroad. 2017, fighting and famine. Um, that's my worst type. So for uh, for what I'm gonna do to solve this pro um, this problem is I have a um, a three three on three tournament that uh, I'll run. It has been done before by a um, one of our teachers here. Um, he has moved recently, Mr. Watson. Um, he ran a three three on three tournament to help kids in Haiti and it was successful. So I hopefully um, aim to uh, work with him um, to run the project. <coughs> Is there then like an entrance fee that you would then? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. That's that is not really the finished project from um, finished um, flyer, but I'll make another one. Okay. And then, where do you all the money that you would collect from the three on three tournament? Where do you actually? How do you donate that? Would you donate to one of those like what was it? Safe to the to get up there. Save and yeah, save the children. Yeah. Would, uh, would it just go directly to that, or how would you actually donate? To I, I plan on donating. Um, so there's a lot of schools that are run by uh, missionary schools, mm -hmm. uh, um, churches, and all that. I would plan on um, donating to um, um, the um, schools, and so they could provide um, books and help to um, um, create interest in, in kids in agriculture. You know, so they could um, so they could know how to till the soil and you know work their hands. Yeah. 
So you are looking for more like a long time, long term solution, not just here's a bunch of money to go to a project. Yes. You're looking to actually teach people. But um, for me specifically, I want to work on um, just one community where I could work with a school and uh, provide that money to the school and see how successful it gets. And from there on, you know, I would look into more, more help. Yeah, I mean, they, I mean, there's a lot of like things that you could donate as well as not just time and money. Yeah. Um, like whether it be, I don't, I mean, they make water bottles now that you can like filter water inside the water bottle, like right. those kind of things. It could be approaching companies that make items like that and saying, would you be willing to donate <coughs> that kind of stuff too, just to see. Yeah, I have my options. Um, kind of going off of um, Melissa's um, statement about the water. Um, if you need a sponsor for your event, Kohler um, actually created this uh, water jug, and it's called the Kohler Clarity, and uh, the yeah. company we worked at, uh, we actually had a fundraiser for it. And I can't remember how much water it holds, but it purifies it, and it sits on your counter, so you can bring in any water from anywhere. You don't necessarily have to walk potentially eight hours to get yeah. the clean water because it will filter the dirty water for you. If you need a sponsor, that would be some a great place to reach out. Um, Coast Cooler is very active in the community with donating things, and that could be a place that you raise money for to go towards those water jugs. Um, second point to that, and kind of building off the earlier presentations that we saw, um, money only goes so far, and uh, I recently read um, Trevor, no Trevor Noah's book, uh, Born a Crime, and he was yeah, born in um, South Africa. And part of in his story, he talks about, there's always this saying, you, if you give a man a fish, he eats for a day. If you teach exactly. a man to yeah. fish, he can eat the rest of his life. But his point to that was also, if you don't give him a fishing pole, he can't fish, regardless of if you teach him how to do it. So teaching people how to farm is a great step one, but also providing them with the tools that they need, fertilizer, um, saplings, seeds, those are the things that could also help um, make them be successful farmers. Because once again, you can give them a book and you can say, hey, till the soil, but if they don't have the materials to actually make anything grow, then kind of what's the point of that? In Trevor Noah's book, he's actually burning CDs illegally, and somebody gave him the CD burner, so mm -hmm. I don't know if you can do anything that's breaking the law, but that's the point of my You story. might not know what burning CDs is. I'm, I'm I'm not oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm Sorry, that's a generational. <laughs> <laughs> on fire, right? Yeah. 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 That's, how, fire. That's, how, that's how we get movies in Africa. I've watched a lot of American uh, movies, and we just like we just like get online and burn it illegally. Yeah, totally. It's totally. not it's not that illegal. It's not like somebody's gonna walk up in your house. And, <laughs> yeah. Down your door. Yeah. Not that illegal. Yeah. yeah. Um, so to add to um to add more to that is um, when there's like a civil war. Um, there's so much help that comes, you know, left to right, mm -hmm. and most of them they um, they just bring, um, you know, food in. They just they just bring in food to the, to these people, but there's less actual teaching to um, to how they can create their own or how they could educate their kids and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm with you on that. Okay. I thought it was great. I loved how you gave us the background of the Kohler Clarity and how it I have a couple comments here, and num number one is presentation is fantastic, and a couple points on that of, uh, you know, thinking about the content and the slides, uh, giving me a video to watch, it puts me in that moment, I'm, I'm watching something that's real, it brings it to life, so, you know, check mark there, you, you're giving me a, a, you know, a book to go read, uh, so something else that I can take away, if you were to give me this presentation, I could walk away at, at some things of reference, so that, that's always awesome. One thing I would do is I would move your, your South Sudan slide up maybe in the presentation because that's that tells me that's where you're going to focus. So that, that's the point of your interest and where your takeaway is. Um, you, you build me up to, to 
you take me all the way right up there and, and cite all these things and, and, and pique my interest, and then you kind of stop short in, in this sense, and this is what I would ask and, and for you to complete this. There's no ask, and so finish there. You, you, you're giving me a great presentation. Make it clear on what your ask is. What, 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 are, you, what are you going to do? And when I would say that is, you know, what, how, how can we help you in, in the sense there is, is it, is it a donation? What, what, what are you asking for? Do you want us to donate in terms of giving water, giving food, or are you looking for help in technology and teaching? We've talked about that. This is what you're here for. You've got a great cause that you're trying to build up. What, what, or is it both? What, what do you want to do? Um, you know, there was a, a great project that some people out of Launch Fishers, where I'm from, and I'll, I'll give you 30 seconds on it. There was, if it was a, a boy who lived in Africa, and, you know, you know, you, you live over there, and, you know, living in huts and no electricity, and riding his bicycle, you know, 10 miles uh, daily, and, you know, it's amazing over there they have access to iPhones, but they don't have electricity in their homes. And he's like, I don't have a place to power my iPhone. And he had a connection back here to the States. So we uh, we built out of our lab, we built an inverter that would uh, spin on his bicycle wheel that he would plug into his iPhone as he was riding his bike. Well, that powered his cell phone every day. So it's, it's amazing to think that here in Fishers, Indiana, we connected that boy, you know, and now we built 10 of them here and we're shipping them over there, and he's going to hand them out to his friends. So be, think about your ask of, you know, it's not only just giving money, but it's how do we teach them, and the thought of sharing with them of how do you farm, and how do you get them to, you know, you know, move forward and, and, and farm themselves. And then, as you were saying, you know, this is awesome. That, you know, when you start thinking about handouts and things that I can take away, and how can I start participating. So very good work, very good presentation. I'd be really clear too on this handout, um, where the money's going, what it's for, the entrance fee. I mean, you have the potential, depending on how many teams you get, I mean, you could charge 50 bucks a team. To, I mean, you have the potential to raise quite a bit of money with a tournament like this. Um, and this is just the designer in me. It really bothers me that I can't see this T. <laughs> it's the graphic I saw that. designer in me. <laughs> it really bothers me. And I would put uh, on the bottom, too, that you're not eligible to play, but that's... <laughs> yeah. Or maybe if you donate extra, you could be on your team. Oh, for sure, yeah. There, I, yeah. Could buy you, uh, I could buy you a slot, yeah. You could be on <laughs> my team. I just want to add that you, um, you have really contagious energy. You're really easy to like. Um, and that's not something that, well, honestly, that's, that's a gift you have. It's not something you can teach. It's not really something that, that can be learned. It's just something you have. And I'm really excited for you. I know, I know, like basketball is your thing, and that's how you want to make it in this world. But I also want to encourage you to look at the side um, that comes with that. Not only be able to play a game you love and, and maybe make money doing it, but but also as a platform for some of these things that matter so much to you. Um, because as you gain notoriety for blocking shots and dunking on people's faces. Um, it also gives you a louder voice in the world, um, and, and people will start to listen to you. And that's like really, really special. And I, I mean, this is a, a personal criticism of athletes in the world, but I think a lot of times athletes don't use their voice necessarily for good. Um, and it's kind of, it's kind of a sad like, ah, oh, what an opportunity missed, you know. Um, so I'm excited for you just because. You, to me, your personality, you're kind of like an unlikely basketball player kind of guy because you're just, other than being tall and being a good basketball, you're, you're so passionate about things like this and you're like kind of nerdy, which is inde really endearing, right? Um, it makes people want to be around you. So I just, I want you to keep using those gifts that you've been given uh, to, to make the world a better place because I think you, I think, I, I think you can go a long way. Yeah. Anything else from my board? Great presentation. Good work. Thanks, buddy.